New at noon, an attempt to transform a Brevard County resort hits a roadblock. Developers say it'll bring more tourists to Cocoa Beach, but county leaders say they don't want to commit tens of millions of dollars to promote a private project. News 6's Ezie Castro listened to this morning's meeting and has more on their decision. Cocoa Beach commissioners approved plans back in April to build the new resort, but the developer says it wants $30 million in county grants. However, members with the Tourism Development Council say that is too much. Why would we consider running this grant for 30 years? That's a generation of public support for a private project. Brevard County's Tourist Development Council discussing the future of the $300 million Western Resort set to replace the International Palms in Cocoa Beach. Developer Driftwood Capital says it wants to use a $30 million grant from Brevard County over a 30-year period for its own marketing. Though most members with the council have been opposed to the proposal, saying that money should not be spent. I'm floored that we're considering this proposal. The fact that it's half of what they previously asked for is laughable because that shouldn't have even been considered for a moment. We should not be, you know, helping them do that, make additional money from our important bed tax. The Weston Cocoa Beach Resort will have 500 luxury rooms and a conference space with the goal to bring more tourism to the area. TDC members, though, voted on a motion today requesting a written legal opinion from the county's attorney's office to see if the grant proposal constitutes the use of the county's bed tax. I think to really boil it down, which I tend to do, transformational, nice hotel, yes, 30-year grant, egregious, absurd, extreme. And regardless of today's recommendation, it's up to Brevard County commissioners to vote on whether or not to approve the $30 million grant. In the newsroom, Ezzy Castro, results, News 6.